Hello, it is Kitty Blue. Um, it is August the 27th, I believe. It is a Wednesday, or maybe it's Thursday. <laughs> I forget what day it is. Um, anyways, I have a box opening. I actually got two boxes in today, but I'm going to open one at a time. Um, <laughs> Zero is here with me to help me open my boxes because he likes to, he likes to sniff them out. So, um, I'm going to start off with my mandrake order and then we'll move on to the next one. So, there we go. DHL, so it got here like super quick, which is always awesome. Um, trying to figure out how this box is. So I was going to hold off getting this, but I decided to get it anyways because I just kept staring at it in my cart. And um, wow, this tape is super strong. Or these scissors are super unsharp. Oh, just moved. Moved my camera. Oops. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Maybe. There we go. Like, who are you talking to? Why are you always sitting sitting in your doll room talking to people? Okay. Let's open this up this way. And then this way. Her arms. It's going to be uh, in pieces. The accordion set with her. We're going to assume maybe it's underneath. Okay, so um, many, many years ago, I had a few vinyl dolls. Zero, leave it. Um, I had a few vinyl dolls, and at that time, I just decided that I preferred to have just resin dolls. Hey, see ya. I'm gonna knock something over. I um, preferred just to have resin dolls, so I ended up getting rid of most of my um, vinyl dolls. Actually, most of them, all of them. <laughs> um, but I just recently started getting into the Smart Dolls. And um, this is an Abitsu then that I got. This is her card. It was a limited um, doll that they produced. Abitsu Original Doll Series, Volume 3. Me, Me Suzu. Yes, I probably butchered that. Go ahead, correct me. Apologize, apologize. Um, <laughs> so 
sorry, I had a laugh because I grabbed the doll and the plastic was wet because um, this guy here likes to lick everything, so he, he, licks, he licks the plastic. Oh my gosh, she seems so, so small. I mean, like I said, I've just started getting back in, I've just started getting into the resin sole doll, or resin sole, into the smart dolls, and um, they are like 60 centimeters. Pretty standard, like SD size. Um, this Ibisu is supposed to be, I believe, 48 centimeters or 50 centimeters. Um, can't remember which, if it says on here somewhere. Ah. Nose is looking. Um, but she seems so so tiny compared to my smart dolls. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. That is her face. She's she's armless. I'll have to put her arms in. So she get she came in this little underdress. And then she came with some clothing and a wig. Why does this just, it feels so much different than what I remembered. Right. Zero disappeared. I guess he was done with dolls. So I gotta check that one box. I'm out of here. Something downstairs to, to look out through the window. So yeah, like I said, this is off of Mandrake. Um, it's pretty much similar um, to Smart Dolls that they have a inner skeleton that they're... <laughs> he brought a ball back with him. Oh, honey, you can't watch my dolls. They can't, they can't play, they can't play ball with you. <laughs> oh, this video is going to be hilarious. Where'd her other arm go? Hmm. I seem to have lost her other arm. Did you take her other arm? <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. So, um, they come with a metal, um, plate because there is magnets on the bottom of her feet, so she can stand oh. on that. Um, oh, there's her arm. Okay. Wow, this is such a, this is going to be an interesting video. Got to watch, watch Mr. Doggo here. Move these pieces so you're not breaking any of my doll stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. Me just hamming it up for the camera. It's like everybody's watching me now. Wow, see, the head is like so, so tiny from what I remember um, that I used to have them, but maybe. Maybe because this is a uh, original doll sculpt or something. Maybe the head is different um, because this is is supposed to be a 50 centimeter abitsu head that I got off of Mandarake um, last time, and um, unfortunately I can't just like swap it out, swap this head out right now because um, unlike smart dolls, they just don't like pull off. You have to actually open up the head cap and um, unscrew the um, unscrew the head. So I'll have to try that out later. <sighs> Posing's like really, I do remember like the posing being really, really nice on Abitsu dolls. Um, it's just, it's very fluid. These aren't popping out of the joints. The wrist is very nice movement. This is nice movement. It's like, this is harder vinyl and this is like really squishy soft vinyl. Um, but her, she almost can kneel down. 
down like this. Um, but that's about as far as it'll go. She's so cute though. I'm not sure if I'll want to uh, switch out the heads, but um, I was thinking about getting um, this body for the 40 centimeter body for the head. Uh, now I'm not so sure. I'll have to see how it looks like on this body once I get a chance. Um, oh, so this is the outfit, that original outfit that came with her. I wish to open the other stuff first. Okay, so there is this jacket. There is stockings. Um, this looks like a necklace. And this cute, 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 adorable dress. This is like one reason <laughs> I was just like, Okay, the doll is cute, but this dress is just amazing. And it's really, really well made. It's like completely lined and everything. Um, she has a hair, but I don't see... I thought she was supposed to come with shoes. Oh, here we are. So yeah, I knew it said it was a full set. An open full set is what they said. There's the little black loafers. They got polka dots in this inside them. These are really nice. They almost look like they're oh, it's brown. They're like a dark brown. I didn't notice that like on the on the pictures and stuff, there was like brown trim around the bottom of the dress. Thought it was all black. Let's put this on her and then I'll get her wig. It's really nice. It's it zips up just like a normal dress would be instead of <laughs> instead of um, <laughs> zero. You're you're too much instead of like little snaps and stuff because snaps sometimes can be hard to get all those tiny tiny little things put together. Of course, I'm old, so get on. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So adorable. Oh. Good thing that she's vinyl and she squishes. There you go. Tight fit. Oh my god. It is so cute. And I'm like actually going to try this dress on one of my um, resin dolls like MSD because um, the 50 centimeter or 48 centimeter, I'll have to like look that up, um, the dolls are pretty thin. Um, so they're kind of proportioned, height wise they're taller than MSDs, but uh, they're proportioned like MSD size. So um, this is her wig. On. Probably like you're probably just watching the dog. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. I watch. I have to watch this. And I see this every day, all day. Um, this other outfit that I, I got another outfit and I think a wig. Um, and the other outfit is SD size. Hopefully it will fit my smart dolls or one of my other SD dolls. Alright, here we go. Put that on. Shoes on. 
to see if these shoes will fit um, my MSDs as well. And then a little jacket. I don't know if I want to. Might as well try and put that on. Sometimes it's hard because the fingers get stuck in the knit. I don't know how. Okay. I was going to say, I don't know how easy it is to, to take her hands out, but that wasn't so bad. Although I think her hand itself should just come off. Don't, yep, it does. The hands just come off. I didn't have to pull the whole peg off. All right. Oh, do you need a pop? She's so cute. Her head is so tiny. Hands are a little bit harder to get on and off than a smart doll, and now I'm like worried that I might be the wrong direction, or yeah, I'm gonna have to maybe put her hand up. Oh, there we go. I think I got it. Okay. Now her wig. So keen on the wig. It's a cute, it's a cute wig, but I think she she would look really cute with a different style on. But that is her. This cute, cute little dress. Um, just to kind of show you size difference. Ah, this is smart doll and a bitsu. Like I said, either 48 or 50 centimeters, so there's quite a bit of a difference there in height. Um, could be a young kid, um, but uh, maybe not. All right, so that is her. Oh, I still had a few things that stick in the room that I had to open. I said, I think it was like a clothing set and maybe a wig or two. So it says SD13. I just, it was very colorful and very cute, and I thought it would be fun. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, this is so cute. Underneath the petticoat, there's like polka dots on the bottom. Kind of wish that, oh, actually, if the, uh, you can see polka dots, if I like pull it down a little bit, you can see the polka dots at the bottom. This is really cute. Get little buttons and flowers and stripes and all for like mix matching like patterns and colors and stuff and then there's this green shirt that goes with it and a pair of stockings i'll try that on my smart doll which is the other box that i'm opening um this is a wig And the end of this uh, oh, I'm gonna have to tear it open because it could the bottom and I don't wanna accidentally 
cut the lid. So this is a wig that I saw that I thought was really, really cute. Um, it is, wow, it's really huge. Um, said it was an 8-9, but it might be more than that. But it's like, um, it's actually almost the same color as the doll that I just got, the wig, but it's like a golden brown, a reddish golden brown, down to like a lighter color. It's really, really pretty. Too big on her. Um, I'm going to try it on the doll that I just got in, or that I haven't opened yet. So we'll hold on to that. And then this is the same thing. We'll just put this open at the bottom. This is a wig as well. And it is this fun red, kind of curly wig. Um, unfortunately, it does have a black head cap. Um, so I probably won't want to leave it on my vinyl doll, but I really want to put this on her because, oh my, oh my god, this is like so freaking perfect. But, this looks so cute with her outfit. It totally matches with her outfit. But yeah, it is, um, inside the wig cap is black, so I probably won't want to leave this on her. Uh, I'll have to see whether or not one of my other resin girls might need a red wig and see if I can like swap wigs around if I have one that's got a different cap in the oh but she looks so cute in it um she has blue eyes it might be kind of hard to see my camera's not focusing on the doll it's probably trying to focus on me but okay so that is it um my obitsu from my mandarake order I'm going to put her aside, stop the camera, um, move some of this stuff away, and <laughs> dog boy over here is knocking things around. I will be right back with the next box opening for my smart doll. See you later. Take care.